Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, what a day, what a weekend. Not wanting to moan, but my goodness, we've had a bit of stress and getting everything ready for tonight was quite interesting. So sorry for not posting the link to the concert earlier, but um, my goodness me, yes, we got there on time. Woohoo! Actually, we got there on time, on time. Mm -hmm. I was trying to explain to Vanessa the other day, what's the difference between on time and in time? Vanessa was writing to a friend of ours in um, Canada, was that right, Canada? And she said, oh, you got there in time. But what she meant to say was on time. And then trying to explain the difference. So there you are. But never mind, we got there. We got there in the end. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a regular Sunday night is organ music night. And we called this hymn tunes from around the world. Um, and it's not just going to be a night of hymn tunes, don't worry. It's going to be an eclectic mix of goodies, some of which has been... Um, I put a programme together. Some of this has been requested by you. And if you have more requests, then send your request in, gang at garchor.de. Mrs G will put in the address in the chat there. Um, whether we get them in tonight spontaneously or not, I don't know, because we've got quite a bit to get through tonight, which is rather exciting. I even, I even have a program. Ooh, I did a program, very organised. And um, yeah. yes, huh? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa's laughing in the background. She said, "Yes, organised, but only with the program. What about the rest of it?" Yes, we were a bit, um, a bit, almost late tonight. We're rushing around like, like, I can't say it, can I? But rushing around like things that rush around. Um, Trying to get everything ready on time. So a lot of people who weren't here on Friday night, shame on you. A lot of people who weren't here on Friday night for James Bond, which was a great evening. It was great fun. And um, for those of you who weren't here, yes, since Friday night, we have been featuring the new PC. Oh, my goodness. How exciting is this? And it is really exciting. It's wonderful. Mm. It really is wonderful. And um, tonight, I'm trying out Alessandria on this new PC for the first time. So in my ears, it sounds fuller, fatter, bigger, um, but not completely different. On Friday night, we had Melbourne Town Hall, which is a wonderful instrument. If you haven't heard our Friday night concert, go back and listen to it, James Bond stuff. And the Melbourne Town Hall instrument sounds completely different. I didn't think this would be possible. I thought this was rubbish when people said, oh, get a new PC with new processors and everything will be wonderful and everything will sound good. And I thought, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I'm sure it will. But oh my God, it did. And even here on Nancy, uh, not Nancy, what's this? Alessandria, sorry, an organ that I've known. This is the first sample set I received. First sample set I received a long, long time ago. And um, it's wonderful. So I've sort of, I've grown up on help work with this organ and it sounds different. It sounds better. It sounds fuller. It sounds more... Ah, so yes, the joys of full processing power. So there you have it. Now, um, yes, we've got lots to get through tonight. So, so less chat, Fraser, and more music. Um, we're going to play, I've got some, some bizarre music from around the world. Um, we've got some Louis Vierne. We've got some George Frederick Handel. Of course we've got Handel. We've got to have Handel. Um, I've got, what's this? Well, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a wonderfully... Actually, quite a simple hymn, a rather nice one. But this is something really weird and wonderful and modern. Uh, an, um, an Australian viewer requested that. And uh, yes, here we are. That's what I wanted to do. This one next. This was requested by our friend called Stentor Gambe. Now, I don't know if Stentor Gambe is watching this evening. Has anyone seen Stentor Gambe in the chat? No, Not yet? All right, this is for Stentor Gambe. And well, we started with... Um, he said, I mean, lost it already. We started with a wonderful, uh, here it is, here it is, where is it? It's here. It should be here. What did I do? There it is. We started with, wie schön leuchtet der Morgenstern. So in other words, how brightly shines the morning star as correctly uh, translated by, um, who translated it? Someone translated it in the chat. Bodenseehorn, I think it was, who translated it for us. Thank you very much indeed. Um, a very, very old German tune. Um, it's so old, it doesn't say anything about it. Oh, here it is. Yes, it is. Melody Philip Nicolai, 1597. That's how old that melody was. And um, I sort of improvised around on it. And while we're talking about the morning star, then why don't we talk about the evening star? Um, or the moon? And there is, of course, a very, very famous uh, hymn tune. Hymn tune, again, a very old melody. This melody is by Schulz, I think. It should say that somewhere. Melody, Johann Abraham Peter Schulz. There you are, to give him his full name. From 1790. 
And the text is, der Mond ist aufgegangen, the moon has risen, um, which is a wonderful, wonderful tune. And, and to prove that I am not only a selfish old ass, I am going to play an arrangement of this. Oh, is it Rien? Is Rien yes, here? Rien, this is perfect timing. This is especially for you. This is the harmonization of Der Mond is aufgegangen by Max Reger, who is definitely not my favorite composer, but because Rien played with me recently and sent me a stupidly difficult piece of music by Max Reger, which I will never play, um, um, I will play this version of Reger, Reger's harmonization for Der Mond is aufgegangen, and this was a request by Stentorgambe. Stentorgambe, that's a lovely romantic organ stop name, isn't it? Right, stop talking, on with the music.
I just can't get over the difference that this computer here makes. You, whether you can hear it or not, and some of you say you can't, go and get some headphones and then you'll be able to hear it. The difference here, watching this here, down at the bottom of the screen, but if you're a Hauptwerk user, you might know this, down at the bottom right of the screen, there's sort of four little meters, like a rev counter in your car. One of them is for the audio level to tell you if you're too loud or whatever. One is the polyphony to let you know that your computer is running out of notes to play at the same time. Then there's one called CPU, which is telling you what the computer itself is doing. And, you know, if the computer is sort of overloading, then it flashes into the red and things like that. Yeah? And then there's the RAM meter, which tells us, of course, how much memory we're using the system. And in the background, the CPU is just sitting there with one little green one little green bar doing nothing and even playing you know full organ like I just did the CPU bar and the polyphony bar are just sitting there with their arms folded going mm -hmm. is that it is that all you can give me is that it really it's amazing it's amazing it's frightening really and to think that you know it's this Windows that's doing this it's you know that makes it even more amazing I was never a fan of Windows machines uh, for a long time but I guess I was wrong cheers Cheers, cheers, cheers. Wonderful system, wonderful system. There you are. That was uh, Der Mond ist aufgegangen. The moon has risen. A rather lovely but simple melody given there a touch of Max Reger. And in order to turn it away from Max Reger, I decided to turn it into my own little arrangement as well. Hope you don't mind. Our good friend Ken Morden. Ken is here tonight, I think. Is Ken here tonight? Ken is here tonight. Hi, Ken. Hi, Charmaine. Hope you're both doing well. And Ken sent me a beautiful melody, uh, a very sort of typical Anglican melody. It's called St. Matthew. And it's in double common meter, which if you know what, uh, what these things mean, then you know what that means. Uh, it means it's a long hymn, basically. Da-dum, da-dum, da-da-da-dum, da-dum, da-dum, da-dum. And then it does it again. And so on and so on. Yep, that's what these things mean. And this is again a melody, from a very old melody, and it says here on the version that Ken sent over, probably by William Croft, um, who lived between 1678 and 1727. So there you are. Does one know? We don't. This is why it says probably. And Ken's comment about this was, it's a wonderful melody and you never know where it's going next or something to that effect. So let's see what we can do with it. I'm going to play around with it and we'll see what we can do. If you don't know the tune, this is what it sounds like.
a wonderful old tune, isn't it, St. Matthew? Hello, Ken, I hope you like that rendition of St. Matthew, something different. I do like playing around with it, putting the melody in the pedals there and messing around with it. That was full organ, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. It could be a bit louder, couldn't it? Let me adjust that. Ha <laughs> ha, look at this decadent here. I press a button, nothing happens. I press a button, something happens. I do this and the whole thing becomes louder. I turn that off again and then we see. Is this too loud? Let me know. That's better. That was flashing almost in the red that time. That's better. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I have to remind you, we're, by the way, we're dressed very casually this evening because we're in the pub, apparently. We're in the Garchel Gang pub. We've had our church service and we've gone over to the pub for a pint and a pub lunch. And during that, the organist comes over, sits down at the piano and starts playing some tunes. And that's what's going on here, apparently. So welcome along to the Garchel Gang pub lunch or pub dinner or pub evening or whatever you want. We can do a quiz night as well. Shall we do a quiz night? Who wants to do a quiz night? The winner gets, I don't know, what does the winner get? I don't know, we'll find out. Cheers. Mm. So yes, get a round in. If you want to, you know, if you want to, if you want to be the popular one in the bar, you get a round in. How do you get a round in? You click the link there, throw some money in the jukebox. <laughs> click, that was a good link, wasn't it? That was a good link. Uh, click the money, you know, put some money in the jukebox. Put something in the kitty for the poor piano player who's sitting there trying to, trying, to, uh, trying to earn a living and do his thing. So yes, anyway. Now, if, however, Vanessa, are you ready with another link? Um, like a... Yes. If, um, if you are enjoying what we've been doing for the past few months and weeks and days here on the channel, then you might like to get even more. Hmm. And um, Vanessa and I have been, um, we worked out, or we didn't work out, we reworked, we redid our Patreon membership scheme. And for, there are various different levels of membership, and for, for a certain regular sum of cash, um, you get extras. Now, these are over and above what we're doing here, all right? So don't worry, it's not, you know, it's, there are extras, yes, if you join us on Patreon, but um, you're not missing out if you don't join us on Patreon. Obviously, we'd love it if you all joined on Patreon, because that would make our life even better and much easier, uh, at least financially speaking, and then we could do this full time and do a lot more, which is what we basically want to do. And we introduced a new level. And this new level is, of course, the one we recommend. It's called Tuba, he said, clicking. The, oh, look at this, I can just click it. The Tuba, yeah, the big parpy thing on organs. And we introduced a Tuba level. And the Tuba members and above, if you're in the level, level above Tuba, there's one more, which is basically all about private tuition. Um, but if you're in a member of the Tuba level, then once a month, you will get one of these concerts just for you just the tuba members and those above will get together and we'll have our own private little concert and the idea is that you will request the stuff that comes in that concert and i will have then of course a month's time to rehearse it all and get it ready now we're going to start tuba from 20 members and i think at the moment we have five or six already we have five or six tuba members so as soon as we get well, we said a minimum of 20, but let's see if we can get it to 10 as soon as possible. And if we get it to 10, then we get it to 12. And if we get it to 12, then we get it to 15. So let's say when we get 15 members on Tuba, we will start these exclusive new live streams. Now, they will take place once a month, extra, and they will be sort of, you know, open-end live streams just for you, just for the Tuba and above members. And, uh, yeah, the idea is it's going to be more personal, more intimate, a sort of the the and I'm not allowed to say it, but a sort of more intimate um, concert, um, not musically speaking, but from the, you know, from the audience side of things. But like I say, these are all extras over and above what we're doing here. If you don't want to join us on a regular basis, then you are more than willing or more than, more than, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I don't you don't know. Oh, sorry, I, I'm lost here. Um, you are um, more than welcome. That's the word I was looking for. More than welcome to help us out with our PayPal link there, you know, for one off. Um, for one-off um, um, help and assistance and support. You know, throw a penny in the jukebox and get a tune. So like, 
pretty much everyone did for tonight. Um, you know, that's the way it goes to work. You don't have to, but the least you can do to help us out is give us a thumbs up for the video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and tell your friends. That's quite important. Tell all your friends about this crazy music that we do here. It's not all hymns and tunes like that, but sometimes it is. On Friday night, we did James Bond music. Next Friday night, what's next Friday night on the programme, Mrs G? Well, have a look, please. Look in the streams folder and you will find the program. Oh, Vanessa's clever. She's doing it. Oh, she's so clever. <laughs> What's on Friday the 17th? Johann Strauss Festival. Ooh, we're doing an evening of Johann Strauss. Johann Strauss with his lovely waltzes. All that kind of stuff and the trick trach polka and the blue danube waltz and lots of things by strauss and the viennese wonderful the viennese wonder music of that time so join us then on friday night for some viennese wow that's going to be fun shows you how organized i am i haven't even thought about the program for that yet so maybe you have a request for the viennese night gang at garchor.de let us know now then, this is a piece of music I have played before. I played it a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, uh, in a live concert, and it was requested again. So, me being a glutton for punishment, I will try to play it again. It's for our friend Alexander Wunderlich. We all know Alexander Wunderlich. And it's, it's a piece of music by Handel. Um, it, I will say Handel because he wrote it when he was already in, the, in Britain. He didn't write it when he was still in Germany. So it's not Handel, it's Handel. That's what he called it. He changed his name officially when he moved to England. Did you know that? I didn't. Anyway, and it's called Where'er You Walk, Wherever You Walk, which sounds a bit like you'll never walk alone, but it's not. It's a rather lovely piece. This is an arrangement by YouTube organ royalty, Jonathan Scott. Um, which was uh, given to me as a gift. And uh, yeah, it's rather wonderful. I just hope I can do it justice. Let's find out.
Hmm, I really like that. I really do like that. That's a, first of all, it's a wonderful arrangement. But secondly, it's a, obviously a wonderful piece of music by Handel himself. And it fits rather perfectly on what can only really be described as a concert organ. Now, knowing what Jonathan Scott does, um, Jonathan Scott is sort of a modern day WT best, I would say. And Jonathan sort of arranges things in the town hall concert style. And back in well, Victorian and Edwardian times, the town hall organ concert was the gig to go to. And organists of the time arranged the tunes of the time and classics um, to be played on the organ. And these town hall organs were basically great big concert organs, much like Melbourne Town Hall, get it? And those great instruments were, you know, they were there to play all these wonderful things on. Great fun indeed. So thank you, Alexander, for that suggestion again. I do love playing that kind of thing. And uh, yes, that was rather good. Rather good fun. Now, we've had that, so I don't want to do this. What's this? I have something else here. Oh, yes. Now, I, I promised you earlier something by Louis Vierne. And this is something I really don't know at all. This was a request by, where is it? Derek Field. Is Derek Field here tonight? Anyone seen Derek Field? Derek uh, requested this a while back. And... Um, yeah. Yep, Derek is here. Hello, Derek. This is Derek's request, and it's something I don't know, and I've never seen before, and I printed it out about an hour and a half ago. So, and then I noticed it was in B major. B major is a pig of a key at the best of times. So let's hope that I can play it. It's Louis Vierne's Ave Maria. Now, it's not the usual, oh, it's not that awful thing that people try to sing at weddings and drive us all insane with. It's not that. It's something by Louis Vierne, and like I say, I don't know it, but we're about to find out what it sounds like. Like I say, it's in B major, so...
I love the music of Louis Vierne. It's so sort of mysterious, I think is a nice word for it. And um, l everyone thinks Louis Vierne himself as a person was very melancholy and very sort of depressed almost, but that, that's not true. As a person, he was incredibly humorous and uh, positive, but he, uh, he had a pretty rough life. He lost one of his kids early, lost his sight very early as well. And, he, and you know, and... Uh, People thought, oh, he's probably very depressed. He wasn't. He was very positive, but he sort of took out the melancholy from his life in his music. So there it is. That was uh, a request from Derek Field for Vian's Ave Maria. Different, very different, very subtle and very ah, relaxing. Something new to the program. Something new to the program. This is... A request by Alexander Ferlemann. Is Alexander Ferlemann here tonight? Have we seen? Ferlemann. Alexander Ferlemann. He's probably. I think he's probably got a YouTube name, but I didn't get the YouTube name. But yeah, yeah. This is a request, and this is from a different hymn book altogether. Now I'm not terribly sure which hymn book it is. It's a, a very simple hymn in the beautiful key of A flat major. It's called Ach mein Herr Jesu, wenn ich dich nicht hätte, which means oh. Lord Jesus, what would my life be if I didn't have you, roughly? Oh, it's you. You. Oh, yes, apparently on Friday night, everybody loved my goons impressions and my Christopher Lee impression. Um, so if, if all else fails and the organ dies one night, then we'll just do a night of impressions. I'll do a goon show all by myself. So we were just in B major, now we're going to... A flat major, which is a much better key to play in. This, ladies and gentlemen, then is Ach, mein Herr Jesu. A rather lovely, simple, but effective melody.
<laughs> That's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Now, these are all these cool hymns that we really love. Ooh, 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 I'm missing a book. I'm missing a book. Vanessa? Yeah? Can you please? Oh, it's there, it's there. Can you please give me that book down there, the grey book, please? We received a new book of goodies. And I know he's not in the audience tonight, but uh, a great friend of the channel and a, a wonderful chap is our friend Gleis van der Rea. And Gleis van der Rea is not here tonight. I think he's working, actually. What is the sinful world of work, poor guy. And um, he sent me another book full of music. And this is, oh my goodness, it's, this, is, this is, it gets better. It just keeps getting better. And um, if you don't know, I've, you know, it's one of those worlds that you may not know very much about, but I knew nothing about it until Gleis van der Rohe started telling me about these things. Sorry, I, ignore me breaking this book in the background. It's very naughty. Um, Gleis van der Rohe sent me the hymn books belonging to the Jehovah's Witnesses. And everyone, everyone has their sort of opinion of the Jehovah's Witnesses, and that's fine. You know, you know, that's fine. You can do that. But... Oh my God, their music, their music is something unbelievable, literally something unbelievable. And he sent us a new book. This is the most up-to-date one. And he said to me, if you're up for it, just look at number 27. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm just going to leave it at number 27. And this is, this is film, apparently, I haven't looked at it, so this is site. But this is apparently film music, just beyond belief. So let's find out. Number 27. Let's find out.
ladies and gentlemen, was a hymn. That's film music, that is. That's film music. Unbelievable. Wow. Exciting stuff. Yes, they are going to become a regular part of the collection. That's just wonderful stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you are having a good evening this evening. And don't forget, you can help us out by dropping a penny in the jukebox and saying a thank you, a little donation. Perhaps it's a donation to say thank you for the music. Perhaps it's a donation to, thank, to say thank you to Vanessa for helping us out as the producer in the background. Perhaps you'd like us to spend money on new sample sets for organs and things like that. Perhaps you would like us to spend money on, I don't know, new glasses, new drinks. No, no, nothing like that. Ooh. When you click on the PayPal link to leave a donation, there's an option list in there. One, two, three, or four. There are four different options in there. And option number two is something that gets regularly ignored and missed. It's to help out Vanessa, our producer. So if you want to say a little thank you, not, not only to me for the music, but to Vanessa for all the production in the background, for looking after the chat, for keeping an eye on everything, then feel free to help out Vanessa in the background as well. Ganz schnell auf Deutsch, danke. Ich hoffe, ihr habt Spaß heute Abend. Wir auf jeden Fall. Ähm, diese Lieder von den Zeugen Jehovas, die sind fantastisch, die sind wirklich unglaublich. Millionen Dank an Gleiswanderer für, für, für die Bücher, für diese Melodien, für diese Lieder. Wirklich unglaublich. Ähm, eine ganze Welt, die wir nie, äh, die wir nie gedacht hätten, ne? dass es da ist. Eine wunderschöne Welt. Ähm, ja, wir hoffen, ihr habt Spaß heute Abend. Falls ihr Spaß habt, könnt ihr natürlich immer noch Danke sagen und uns irgendwas in die Jukebox schmeißen. Falls ihr hier unser, ähm, unser ähm, PayPal-Link klickt, gibt es auch auf Deutsch unser PayPal-Link, oder? Hast du schon. Ähm, gibt es auch auf Deutsch. Ähm, könnt ihr da auch einklicken. Und nicht vergessen, es gibt auch vier Sachen zum Auswählen in, in dieser Liste. Man kann Danke generell sagen, also quasi ähm, an mich oder so. Aber man kann auch Vanessa explizit danken. Ich glaube, Option 2 ist Vanessa, unsere Produzentin, danken. Äh, das ist auch ganz witzig. Und Vanessa würde nie Nein sagen, ist richtig? Vanessa sagt nie nein und äh, genau, also es ist, ich sage ich sag immer vielen lieben Dank an Vanessa für die ganze Arbeit, die sie hier im Hintergrund macht, aber vielleicht wollt ihr auch Vanessa Danke sagen und da habt ihr auch die Möglichkeit. Sehr schön, danke im Voraus, wir finden das sehr schön. So, right, sorry, I was just doing the old spiel there in uh, German, so that people know what we're talking about. Um, now, we have some more excited. This is rather an interesting one. Uh, this is Stefan Buers, and I'm not sure if it's Stefan Buers, pronounced like that, or just Buers, or Buers. I'm not sure how we're pronouncing it. Stefan uh, requested, I think Stefan's actually from Australia, but I'm not terribly sure. I couldn't work it out from the email. Um, and Stefan requested another very sort of modern, majestic piece of music. And I haven't had a chance to look at it, but I have printed it out. And here it is on three pages of paper. And let's find out, or three sheets of paper, in fact, six pages on three sheets. We save paper here, we really do. Aren't I old fashioned? Everyone else is out there with iPads and, you know, doing things, all their music on iPads and they're winking and blinking and doing funny things with their faces and, uh, to get the, to change pages and all that sort of thing. I think it looks hilarious and I, I'm not going to succumb to that. Um, um, I, I'm very old fashioned. I still like my music on physical paper. Um, but one day I will probably give up, start saving the planet and... Um, and um, invest in electronic devices. Why do we need all these electronic devices? Um, to do pages and page turning and things like that as well. But anyway, for the time being, paper shall suffice. And this is a piece of it, it's just Gloria. It's called Gloria. It's part of a mass that was written for some sort of international worship day thingy sometime. Um, I rather foolishly forgot to write down exactly what it's from. Maybe you recognize it. If you do recognize it, then, um, you know, let us know. And I think it's rather good fun. It's, it says majestically and joyfully. So that's good enough, isn't it? Majestically and joyfully. Let's see what that sounds like then.
my producer was talking to me in the background. You have to say yes when the producer asks a question.
happy day. That was a request from Misha, Misha Becker? Yeah. Misha L. Becker with his request for Oh, happy day. It's actually one of those pieces that, uh, I don't know, you have to be in the mood to do it. It's been hackneyed by that disgraceful film of years gone. And uh, yeah, but it's a great tune nonetheless. I've got a lovely choir arrangement of that that I do with one of my choirs. Mm. And it's great fun. Oh, happy day. There you are. That was a request. Now, we're running out of requests in there, but oh, don't worry, have I got some more for you. Ah. Are there any men in the audience who aren't as ecstatically happily married as I am? That's, that, that's clever. I'm being clever here. I'm being clever here. I'm working up to something, you see. I'm being looked at by the producer. Blessing. She's waiting for something. Yeah. She's waiting for something. Vanessa and I, Vanessa and I are, we are really a dream team. We're really an absolute dream team. Vanessa, picture time. I still have a picture. Yeah, picture time. Picture time. A lot of people have still been asking, what is with Vanessa? What's happened to her? What's happened to her channel, the Gantrell's Garden? Well, Gantrell's Garden is coming back very soon because thankfully Vanessa's hay fever has stopped. Vanessa suffers from rotten hay fever in the summer season and, oh, it's, sorry, and it's exam season at university as well. Um, for those who don't know, Vanessa went back to university 10 years later to study to be a teacher. Um, she's 10 years older than all the other students there. Yeah. Is that right? 10 years older? Yeah. And well, 10 years wiser, I think, yeah, is more like, important. Ooh, like she is the guru to all the other young students there. So there you are. Um, and, and if you don't have a Vanessa in your life, then I'm very sorry. Because Vanessa is the most amazing person in the universe and without her, well first of all my life would be a mess. Believe me, it was an absolute mess before she joined my life. Well, <laughs> what? <laughs> she said without her I wouldn't be wearing socks today. That, I think what she means is four minutes before the stream started this evening I forgot to change into my spider socks. Uh, the spider socks are from Herbert, but is Herbert here tonight? No, no, Herbert, no, 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 Herbert, oh, Herbert will be still. Um, yeah, and, and, and five and a half years ago, sort of Vanessa appeared in my life and changed everything and just made everything so much more wonderful and positive. And uh, she really is an amazing person. Uh, none of this would have been possible without Vanessa. Vanessa's the one who's always standing behind me with her, with her, size, her size 38 boot and kicking me up the backside to get a move on and do things. And so all of this, all of these things that have been happening over the past few years, it's all Vanessa's work. So uh, a big thank you, of course, to Vanessa, who we all love and adore, but nobody as much as I do. So um, there you are. And here is, people have been saying, uh, yeah, so what is the story with you two? So on our wedding day three years ago, on our wedding day, it was one of those days of the year where it was swelteringly hot, beginning of August, swelteringly hot. And it kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter and we knew there was a thunderstorm coming. So our photographer for the wedding had a plan. And, and yes, true to form, at about 11 p.m. the heavens opened and everything just came crashing down in the most amazing thunderstorm. And our photographer, who turned out to be one of the best photographers we've ever come across, ever, had an idea. And this was his idea. Vanessa, three, two, one, click. And this was, this was one of our favourite wedding pictures. It's the two of us standing on the balcony of our um, location where we celebrated our wedding. It was pissing with rain all around us and we stood under this umbrella. Uh, the magic trick is I'm holding a light in my left hand that you can't see pointing upwards into the umbrella and it gave us this wonderful effect. Needless to say, Vanessa's beautiful wedding dress got completely and utterly soaked, thanks to the uh, weather and the wonderful effects. Uh, but nonetheless, an absolutely wonderful picture uh, uh, was taken, and that became one of our favorite wedding pictures. I hope you like that. It's a rather wonderful effect. So there you are, that's, that's my little Princess Vanessa on our wedding day a long time ago. Isn't that cute? Yes, isn't that cute? So yes, so yes, we do, we do all love Vanessa. Oh, Dave De La Haye, he has a Vanessa in his life, but her name is Bettina. Oh, that's wonderful. We've been together 17 years now, but wish we had met 17 years earlier. Yeah, I get that feeling as well, but 
if, if I'd met Vanessa 17 years earlier, she would, well, I'm not going to, no, that would have been disgraceful. Vanessa and I have a bit of an age difference. If you want to know these things, then look up how much George Clooney's age difference is between George Clooney and his wife, and that's the same age difference we have. Uh, we're a little apart, but um, Vanessa has definitely saved my life. And Dave, it sounds like you are a happy boy as well. Aren't you all good? We all want happy people in our lives, don't we? Now, for those of you who maybe aren't as happy, here is a hilariously funny piece of music by Billy Taylor. Who the hell is Billy Taylor, I hear you say? Dr. Billy Taylor. Dr. Billy Taylor was um, sadly, not, well, sadly no longer with us. Dr. Billy Taylor was a very, very famous jazz piano player, and he composed a piece of music called I Wish I Knew How It Would Feel To Be Free. Sometimes known as I Wish I Knew What It Would Be Like To Be Free, but it's actually called I Wish I Knew How It Would Feel to be free. It's not exactly a number one title, is it, that long there, but it's a wonderful piece of music. Residents of the United Kingdom will recognise it as the theme music to Barry Norman's film, blah, 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 film 91, film 87, whatever. And uh, others of you might recognise it as one of the most famous gospel-style tunes around. Like I say, I wish I knew how it would feel to be free. Dedicated to all those unhappily married people out there.
Yeah. I wish I knew how it would feel to be free. The wonderful Billy Taylor. I have a lovely story about Billy Taylor. A long, long time ago, 2000 and... Blah, 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 must have been 2005. I was in New York City. And um, I, was, I was best man at a friend's wedding. A friend of mine, Prince Michael. I was at Prince Michael's wedding and I was his best man. And um, um, after the wedding, we also there was a very sort of a low key affair, despite the um, despite the um, family connection. Uh, it was a very low key affair. And after the wedding, we went to a jazz club in Harlem, where he'd reserved sort of half of the bar for all the wedding guests. And um, I can't remember the name of the bar, but it was one of those famous sort of jazz clubs in Harlem where you turn up. You sit in, you pay money for one set, which is like 45 minutes, and then if you want to stay for the next set, you pay again, or you leave and other people come in. But we'd reserved it for the whole night. And turned out that that night, the, um, the, uh, the club was celebrating the, what was it, the 70th birthday of, what was his name? Oh God, what was his name? Earl something. I can't remember his name now. Earl something, who was the bass player for Billy Taylor. Um, but he was also a very famous jazz bass player anyway. And um, he started, you know, there were a few people there. Billy Taylor, um, Billy Taylor came later. A few people from the Count Basie band who were still alive came later. Frank West, who played flute and saxophone in the Basie band. And they wheeled in at some point, they uh, wheeled in. Oh, what was that crazy? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. My brain wasn't working anymore. Gah, what was his name? Come on, right, jazz people, this is one for you. He played in the Duke Ellington band and he played in the Count Basie band and he was famous for playing sort of mumbling trumpet style. What was his name? What was his name? Absolutely wonderful. Um, ah, what was his name? He turned out. And it turned out the whole evening was sort of a who's who of New York jazz and people kept turning up. So I was, of course, absolutely mesmerised by all the people that were there. And me being me, I, of course, just went up to them all and said hi, introduced myself and told them how wonderful I thought they all were. And I got sat for most of the evening with Billy Taylor. And Billy Taylor got up and played a few numbers on the piano. And he was, he was a fairly old guy in 2005, but he was still, you know, shit hot on the piano. Sorry to use bad language, but he was really, you know, still in top form. And he, um, you know, he played, played a few numbers with the band and it was absolutely wonderful. And then we sat at the bar and had a chat for ages and ages and ages, talking about music and jazz music and all these things. And at the end of the night, he said, right, come on, show us what you can do and come and play a number with us. And I sat at the piano with Billy Taylor and we played a number of tunes. We just did some sort of bluesy stuff. And then I did something, something that I love doing in the style of Count Basie. And Count Basie had a very minimalist style on piano. I'll do a night of jazz piano at some point. And I had a very sort of minimalistic approach to the piano in those days. And I was playing all my Count Basie licks and things like that. Billy Taylor sat with his arms crossed beside me and sort of looked and nodded and said, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 fine, fine, fine. And, and this guy who played in the Count Basie band, crazy hair, um, played flute and um, played saxophone. Frank West was his name. And he was at the time one of the guys leading what had you know what was left of the Count Basie band they still met and he came up and he said what are you doing tomorrow night I said mm, I've got no plans fine he said well you're not going to believe this but we've got a concert in the Lincoln Jazz Center with Wynton Marsalis and we're doing an evening of Kansas City Jazz and of course we're going to be playing Count Basie repertoire do you want to come along and I said oh my god that would be amazing I'd love to do it and the guy who was in the wheelchair, who was playing the trumpet, whose name still, I still can't remember his name. Has anyone got it there? Um, Earl Hines. Earl Hines was long dead by those times. Thank you, Nancy. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Um, I think Earl May was his name or something like that, the bass player. I can't remember now. Um, and this guy on trumpet, um, and he, he was going to be there as well. And, and I thought they meant, do you want to come and see the concert? And, you know, we'll get you some tickets or that kind of thing. And it turned out what they actually meant is, do you want to come and play? So I turned up at the Juilliard, you know, next evening, just d dressed normally, expecting just to sort of be part of, you know, the audience. And Frank West met me at the door and said, no, come on, in here, in here. And I said, what do you mean in here? And he said, yeah, yeah, you're going to play a couple of numbers with the band. I said, what? This is it. I'm only dressed. They said, don't worry about it. We'll make up some story. We'll call you Europe's Count Basie and get you in. 
And Wynton Marsalis was on the um, was on the stage introducing all these things and you know it was a wonderful concert I listened to the whole thing from backstage and then later on in the evening they sort of said yeah now and now we're going to introduce someone we only met the other day it's, it's Europe's own Count Basie and they introduced me and I walked on stage and as I walked on stage the bass player and the drummer and the guitarist all started in that sort of chink 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 Count Basie style yeah in the key of I think it was in C just a little blues in C and I sat down at the piano and started playing a bit of blues in the key of C major in the style of Count Basie as you do Nobody knew what was going on. It was all completely, um, all completely spontaneous. And the rest of the band just sat there with their arms folded, watching to see what was going to happen next. And Wynton Marsalis came over and said, right, what do you want to play? What do you want to play? And I said, eh, let's do, I don't know, have you got all the bassy arrangements there? Yeah, we've got them all. And I said, let's do Shiny Stockings and In a Mellow Tone. Those are two of my favourite bassy arrangements. And Wynton Marsalis turned to the band and went, guys, Shiny Stockings, number of whatever they had in the book. And... Um, Oh my God, and we did, we literally did. And I started, um, so we changed from the blues and then I started. And then I started the Count Basie introduction to Shiny Stockings and the bass player was waiting for the cue. Bum, 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 bum. And then off we went into it. And everything just went bananas. My, my brain just absolutely dissolved. One of the best nights of my life. I ended up staying on stage for about eight numbers with the band just going completely crazy. And then, of course, afterwards, it was the most amazing party in some bizarre club, pub, somewhere in New York. And I spent all night talking to all these jazz legends I'd only ever heard of. And here they all were. Absolutely amazing. I still can't remember the name of this guy. Uh, who was his name? What was his name? What was his name? What was his name? What was his name? Kanstama um, Reshoshia. Um, Count Basie trumpet players. Gibbs up for my iron Count Basie. Count and then B R S E A. Vanessa loves Count Basie, as you can tell. And then trumpet player. And guck mal wer denn alles dabei ist. Das ist wahrscheinlich eine Liste. Dreh mal um, dreh mal um. Count Basie. Oh, who played trumpet for Count Basie? Bam, 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 I'm going to do a Count Basie night as well. Oh, good heavens, who was it? I can't remember who it was. I'll work out who it was. We'll find it later. We'll find it later. Sorry, everybody. I can't find it. Um, yes, yes, yes. Who the hell was it? Who did mumbles? Just... Research who did the trumpet mumbles thing, and you'll, you'll find it. Okay, we're on fun mode now. We had a request from a guy called David Miller. This is a request. We got this in quite a long time ago, and it's a request for a wonderfully fun piece of music from the West End version of Mary Poppins, believe it or not. Here we go. A bit of Mary Poppins. Sing along if you know the words. Bitte?
Super color frontalistic XP Alatocious. Going through all Clark Terry! That's it. Tobias Alde, you got it right. Clark Terry, thank you so much. Oh, that's it. I'd have got that two o'clock in the morning in the middle of a dream. You know what that is. Yes, Clark Terry. Thank you very much indeed. Sorry. Yes, that was Super Color Fragilistic XP Alidocious in the hundred keys, which makes it sound quite like atrocious. No, sorry, I can't make that work. Uh, yeah, that started in B flat major and ended in D major and went up a semitone every time. Good heavens. I should have looked at that in advance. That's a request we've had for quite a while. And that's a request from David Miller. Wonderful stuff. We're getting towards the end of this evening's celebrations, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we've had some Mary Poppins. We've had some gospel. We've had some church hymns. We've had some exciting hymns. We've had some film music hymns. We've had some Handel. What we haven't had is some of this.
ain't misbehaving. And our friend Colin, I don't think, was here tonight. We love playing that kind of stuff for Colin. Colin loves Fat Swallow. Everybody should love Fat Swallow. It's wonderful stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's five to midnight here in Germany, which means it's time to say good night. And for a change, I haven't played this for a few weeks as well. I'm going to play my old theme tune from my theatre organ concert days. It's a great old tune called The Bye Bye Blues. 